Okay, welcome to this lesson on using Creo's uh, half sectioning capabilities. You can see here on the screen we have the front view and the top view of the existing tow ball. Now we'll just go back to part of the tow ball and you can see here that we've already got some planes passing through the centre of each of these faces. Uh, what I'd like to do is to show you how you can create full sections and also half sections of the front view of this tow ball uh, to better suit its purposes. So the first thing we'll do is just do a standard half section and then we'll show you how to modify that and make it a full section. So if we want to section this view, we simply just double click on the view to open its properties, come up to the sections tab and click on the 2D cross section, hit the plus symbol and you can see there's some existing um, cross sections there already. So what I'm going to have to do is just go back and delete those cross sections to start from new. So I'm just going to cancel that. If you do already have some uh, cross sections through there already, we have to get rid of them back in the model. So go back to the model, come to view, and you want to go to manage views. You'll see here um, there's basically a view manager. If we want to manage the sections, so highlight the sections tab. And you can see there's one, two, three sections already there. Let's get rid of them. So just simply right click on them and hit delete. And OK. Just getting rid of all these so that we can start with a, a brand new file. And you need to use this view manager later on anyway, so we can show you here. OK. And you can see here now that the highlighted one is no cross section, and there's no cross sections on there. So we'll close that. Let's now go back to the drawing. And let's double click once again onto the front view. Go to the sections tab, 2D cross section. We're going to add a 2D cross section, so click on the green plus symbol. And this box down the bottom here is what we call a collector and wants to know some information. We have two choices here planar, which means a full section, or offset, uh, which we will use for doing our half section. So, first of all, let's just use planar. Click on the done button. Give it a name for this cross section. Generally, they uh, just letters A and now it's asking us to identify a plane to use as the um, sectioning plane we can't identify the plane in this view so we need to go to the top view we need to identify the plane that is at a right angle to um, the cross section so click onto that uh, plane which is going right through the center there if it's selected the plane successfully you'll get a green tick beside the letter click on the apply button and you'll now see that the front view will update and it will actually section Pretty simple. To finish off the section, um, scroll across this toolbar here, click on the arrow display, and then select the view being the top view which you want the arrows to go onto, and click on the apply button. And you can see now how the arrows are now pointing to the material that's left behind after this has been cut through here. So this area here has been removed, and we're looking at what's left behind. Remember the purpose of a section view is to reveal the interior detail. Let's we'll close that. Now, um, well probably some argument here would be said that this object is symmetrical, therefore it lends itself very well to what we call a half section. If we could have half of this section and half of it as outline, we could use it for two purposes. We could actually have dimensions on the outside, and then we could see the inside on this side. So what we'll do first then is we'll get rid of this cross section. So back to the part. Go to your manage view and let's get rid of that that was just right click to get rid of it and delete and then back to the part again sorry back to the drawing and this time we're going to do a half section so double click to open it up open same as before sections 2d and plus and this time rather than planar they were going to change it to offset and done going to call it B this time just for something different and at this point you see it's defaulted back to the model what it's asking for it's saying um, it wants us to draw some lines on a surface to represent the cutting planes in top view so I'm going to select this top surface here uh, if I move that slightly to the side uh, sometimes it does that sort of drops out just go back to here yeah. the alt tab button maybe no. Let's 
be able to pay for. Oh, that's a shame. So I might have to go back and do that, create new again. Okay, I'll try that again. Offset. Done. Try again. B. Select that top surface. And in behind here there's an arrow saying which direction it's going in. Unfortunately we can't see it at the moment. I'll just kind of click OK and then use the default viewing which is 90 degrees to that surface we selected. Okay, at this point here we basically need to draw um, two lines to represent the um, cutting planes. It's important to realise here though that we need to make sure that the lines are in reference to the correct planes. So if I just turn that sideways I need to identify which plane this one is. So if I click onto it it says front and that's the plane that I need to use uh, for one line and I'll probably use this plane running through here which is right. That means that when I'm looking at this from the front we'll actually see that plane cut. Go back to your 90 degrees to sketch and it needs some references so I'm just going to select that one to give you a reference through there. Then you're in the sketch mode so just grab your line tool, snap to the intersection, line out there like so, finish it snap back to the intersection, line down to the bottom. That's all you need is two lines to represent the offset section, in this case a half section. Check the green tick and over here you'll see um, it says it's been successful so we can hit apply and now you can see that you've got only one side or one half of the object actually sectioned. It's not quite finished, you want to put the um, arrows on this top view so arrow display, click on the box, click on the top view, click apply and here you can see we've got our line BB um, shown here in the correct format. We'll close that, a little bit of tidying up here, that front view there doesn't uh, want to have hidden detail because it is a sectional view so change it to no hidden detail, apply and close. We'll turn off our planes and the last thing to do would be to select the text or select the arrows I should say and move those arrows into a more appropriate position or something like that and there you've got your half sectional front view um, we could dimension this side uh, put in notes on this side and so on okay that's about it